So, yeah, I just think he just want people to know, like, look, I was on a block and I was in a mansion. Right, right, he right. Just, he's just, I, I don't what I'm trying to say. He, um, he experienced both worlds. Yeah, that's, that's what he want everybody to know. Right, and that's helping them grow it's right like, who there. cares, young? And like, I mean, at the end of the day, if I was him, forget what y'all know. It's like, that ain't the right way of trying to get your name. Focus on what you're really supposed to be focused on. Because, niggas, we don't care if you was from the block or if you wasn't from the block. You T.I. son. Right. And you in the position. And they like said, he's lashing out. So it's too, like, like lashing out. Wrong, and they know, like out in the public. Them. Like, you really embarrassing yourself and your dad. Right. Like, honestly, you embarrassing yourself and your dad. Because it's, it's a it's Is a that way. his dad? They oh, saying the boy Bimmy is pop. They did say that. They said man. main man they Bimmy did. is his pop. They, they both did. got they both got them freckled faces. Though. Oh man, you know what I'm saying? I you know, don't know. We need a blood test, y'all. <laughs> Sneaky. <laughs> we need a blood test. I know his mom though. spoke on that too. His mom definitely spoke on it. She like I don't even know the boy. Mm. I don't even know him, but well, she said that she don't even know. It was like shit. What else is what else to be said from there? She don't know him. So do we need a blood test or don't we? <laughs> do we believe her? Do we believe her? No, what about T.I.? He was going off because somebody oh Elena put his um him and his son picture on a flyer. I heard he about was, that. He was snapping. I can feel that because he ain't getting no, flyer, ain't get no check from that. Nothing. But he, he shut the whole shit down like, y'all not having a party. Y'all not serving drinks. Y'all ain't doing shit in this bitch. He got too much power. Me and my son face on the flyer. Yeah. 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 Oh, they, okay. Yo, shit. That's what I'm you talking hear that? about. That's what talking about. Like, yeah. if y'all put my face on a fly, y'all better cash me the fuck out. Period. But then, sneaky, <laughs> a sneaky, they they say they ended up paying tipping them for that. They ended up cashing him out. I guess tip went up there. He wasn't playing. Y'all not y'all not opening. Y'all not throwing no fucking parties. Yeah. Because he already, he already knew the crowd was going to come because him and his son was on the flyer. Right. So even if he go up there and bitch and leave, they still was going to be still was going to Yeah, it's like, y'all not going to use my right. face. <laughs> And my name for advertisement, right. like that's like disrespect. You disrespecting my brand. Yeah, that's disrespectful. That's don't disrespecting don't my ever, brand. It's like don't use my face because I'm in my in my son face to sell tickets, and I ain't getting nothing mm-hmm. from it. You feel right? me? That's Y'all like tripping, man. That's like a nigga booking me and you. We artists coming there, and they don't, they got us on the job, and they ain't got us coming here performing, but they got a whole fucking. Fucking club right. full of full, motherfuckers, full of motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. drinks getting poured. They, they niggas get thinking fire. we showing up in this right. bitch, right? Right? And they ain't even contact us or let us even know this shit was happening, mm-hmm. right? No, really, get the shit. fuck out of you going have to pay. Nigga. Got to. I respect that. For oh, you, that's a, that's a nice beat down. That's an ATL beat down right there. <laughs> oh, that's a good joint tip. Yeah. Like, man, y'all yeah. gonna respect my joint, and I and and you know, what I mean, I smell him on that, yeah, oh, real man. shit. Man. I ain't gonna lie. What you think about your man, uh, Charleston White? Got a, he got a song coming with the boy Quando Rondo, man. I don't <laughs> think he on. The, he just in the video. I feel like <laughs> no. He said he got a joint. He said he sneaky got a joint song coming soon with Unk on it. Watch. I don't know if he talking. He or might just be talking. He on it. He on it. He just be talking. Man, Charleston White out here. He man, Charleston White is out here doing some shit. Niggas be saying this about him, saying that about him, but that was just his scheme. I feel like just causing controversy, talking a whole bunch of nut shit in an intelligent way. But that's what he did, though. He said like when he was with the had suits on, y'all wasn't listening. But once he started talking about your favorite rappers and talking ghetto and this bullshit, y'all wasn't trying to hear it. That's how you get your attention, just like a rapper. Rapper can't get your attention talking knowledge, but once he talked that killer shit, that. they start dumbed listening. it down for y'all niggas, basically. Yeah, man. that nigga got to dumb it down. You know what I mean? But, you know, he an old civilian. Mm-hmm. He ain't never been in the streets, none of that shit. So at the end of the day, he just a motherfucker that's trying to help clean up the streets, but the way he doing it, he, just was he a using dirty, the old... He was a dirty old head from the hood. That didn't get no respect. No, he ain't get no respect. And now all of a sudden, the gram and everybody know him. It's a lot of people out here just like him, man. It's a lot of niggas that wouldn't be nobody if it wasn't for social media, man. No fact. Yeah, right. Like, sure. and that's just a fact. Y'all niggas was nobody for forty five years of your life. 
So the last two years, you down there 48, the last two years, you somebody? Come on, man, get the fuck out of here, man. You real shit. These niggas, listen, at the end of the day, man, people is trying to portray to be somebody that's doing something and then talking down on niggas that's really doing shit. Real rap. You nigga. feel me? We from the hood, nigga. I'm born and raised in the hood my whole life. So I don't got to act like I'm from the hood. Yeah. But I get it. I know this shit is made up and this shit is dressed up. So I'm not mad at y'all niggas for getting y'all bag. Get y'all coin. Sell these niggas a, a dream. That's what you're supposed to do. That ain't going to never come true. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. So bake a cake for these niggas. Like, you know what I mean? I get it. Yeah. I get it. I respect it. And I understand it. But, you know, Eric, niggas is dumb. Our niggas ain't got the intelligence. But you know, we go put you on the sneaky report and grind you to sawdust, you hear me? <laughs> Real serious. Real sneaky. We with the motherfucking legend <laughs> fly. We grind y'all niggas to sawdust honorably, you know what I mean? Put y'all through the blend as y'all supposed to be. Hey, I, I, I got a question. This is what it's supposed to be. How it's how, supposed to be. How y'all feel about the... Uh, and I'm the, only showing love to the niggas that's close to me, you hear me? I hear you. But <laughs> how y'all feel about the rap scene in Philly? Uh, it's at an all time low right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest, like no joking. Like, it's at an all time low. Is that an all time low for the Philly scene, bro? Yeah. Philly has some dope ass hot artists. At yes, the time. sir. Like, cool. Oh, Let's get this into person it. Person or that person. So what? It's what, what, not, what, that. A, what? Not taking nothing from them or from us, but mm-hmm. for what I'm used to, yeah. the it era, or what I'm used to, the Meeks, the ARs, the Beans. The major figures, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, to the uh, to the young guns, the state property. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To the eaves. Like, it was motherfuckers that was right. really talking that shit that was from here. So, uh, why you feel as though it's at an all-time low, though, Flop? It's not there. You don't feel like these niggas hot? I mean, I'm but, just saying my opinion, not taking nothing from them. Because the music is different now? Like That shit. I, to me, I don't even... I, there's nobody in Philly that I can say I really like, that I'm really talking about. Like, like yo, oh. him. Like, that's the one. Yeah, like, it's like, I'm just I, being 100% yeah, honest. It's like. I, 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 got, well, I got one nigga I like yeah. a lot. And I'm not saying that I don't like him. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying I'm you don't like him. as far as putting a bag behind him. I got saying. one nigga. I feel like the boy, Leaf Ward, was the that one nigga I felt as though he had that, that aggression. Like the I remember when Leaf. I first met Leaf Ward. I have my own studio. Is he locked up right now? He, he locked, locked up, up right now. now. Free Leaf War. Met, the Free Leaf War. I remember when I first met him. This was before he had his buzz and everything. Um, Chris from the Young Guns brought him in the studio. My man Dingo was uh, up there recording it. I know Dingo. Shout out Dingo. Shout out to Dingo, man. Shout out to uh, Chris from the Young Guns. Shout out Chris. Shout out to Leaf War. Free Leaf War, man. You know what I mean? This was before he had his buzz and everything. He brought him through. I'm like, hey, what's up? You're like, yo, this such and such. I'm like, well, all right, cool. I mean, next thing you know, shit. I mean, he where he at with it, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm just, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just, it's not really like, other than that, Lee Ward do got some shit. There's some people here that got some shit, but I'm mm-hmm. just saying, as far as it was just like certain guys, I just stick on the wall. Like, right. No, ah. but I just felt like in the young generation, he still got the flow of a Philly nigga. Mm. He ain't trying to switch it. Like when I listen to his music, I hear a young Philly nigga. Mm-hmm. A lot of these niggas that a lot of these niggas I hear rap now, I don't hear Philly. And I'm an artist, so you know we gonna know. I hear Minnesota. I hear, yeah. I hear yeah. Dallas. Right. He's funny. I hear but not Arkansas, Arkansas, But not though. He got that real a grimy Philly flow. Mm. And that's why I feel like he was like a, a part of our culture. Like what we are, the way we like to hear rap and mm. the way we came up off of rap. Like the now and the flow is switching to the shit where it damn near it's don't over. be on beat type of shit. You feel me? There's it. a lot of that it's shit. It. it sound like blue face. A lot of blue faces out here. Yeah. <laughs> For real. I swear <laughs> it do. It sound yeah, like a lot of is. niggas. Oh, they might be a little bit more hotter with the flow, mm. like more of the shit to talk about, but it's still that same type of flow. Mm-hmm. But I, it, it's, it's still a couple I of them. And, 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 and know who else? Opinion. I feel like me, who else? I feel like had it too. And know who got it right now? That Philly grimy flow, the young boy YP, Slum Boy. YP. Yeah, he he got that, that Philly I ain't, I ain't really flow. Into him yet. 
Yeah, like I, I like the rappers too. I like all of them. Don't get it fucked up. But I'm talking about the niggas who got the Philly swag. Mm -hmm. You got the, you got the, you got the, uh, you know, you got the Riders. You got yeah, the, him too. You no, know, you got the Leak Mosses. Leak. You know, shout out the Leak man for sure. That's for the sure, new culture I'm, I'm talking about. You got uh, you know uh. You know, because I'm not going to lie, man. I was in the studio with Leek the other day, man. And, you know, he really, 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 really super impressed me. He always had some shit. You know, and he got some shit, 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 shit. So, y'all know what I mean? What about you? What Get you doing with your career? You will. Let us know about that flock, <laughs> pretty flock OBH rap see, career, you got, man. You got uh, OT the Real. I got you. You got you got OT the Real. OT the Real got some shit, too. OT the Real, that's my man. man OT, but he I'm in like, our era, though. He gave me a feature. Yeah, but I'm just saying he's still carrying, like, the torch of Philly right now. Yeah, niggas, he is. When niggas think of Philly, they're going to mention OT the Real. Yeah, no, no, no. I got a, I got a feature with OT the Real. Me and OT the Real and Vodka got a feature. I got a feature with OT the Real, like, five years ago. You know what I mean? And it's like, I appreciate that. That was one of my biggest joints. Broken dreams. Grew up in the ghetto. Yeah, you know I man, that jump, broken dreams. Yeah, that was that work. But yeah, so who your top five in the city? Right at this moment. Yeah, and I need yours too, Zai. I don't have a top five. You don't got no top five. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, Moss News. That's funny. Don't be biased. Uh, I said Moss. I said News. Who else? Um, Ot the real. Then you got uh, then you got Ryder. Then you got, no, you got OT the Real, then you got Hollow Man, then you got Ryder. That's a nice joint. That's a nice line, though. In the whole city. That's, that's, that's me in the city. You got <laughs> Moss, you got News, you got, you know what I mean, uh, you got Hollow Man, you got OT the Real, then you got Ryder. It can go either way. You can go Ryder, OT the Real, you know what I mean? Hollow Man or Hollow Man OT the Real Rider, like you know what I mean? That's how it's going. That's that's my five. Let me hear you. Who's five? your five, Rick? Five guys, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um who we got? That's still rapping or just in the city? In the city. All right. All right, my five is Mac Beans, number one. No, see, we can't go back to like the. All right, we ain't gonna talk about. All right, we're gonna. That's going too far. All right, we ain't going to. <laughs> I like, I like me personally. I like vodka. Yeah, vodka. Is I like, oh, I like. Hot. Yeah, vodka is hot. I like, I like, I like Cheek. I like um, Leaf Ward. I like Ab. And I like um, it's a it's a, it's a split tie between Slum Boy and Ryder. Put Ab in a whole other category. All right, well, we're we going to put Slum Boy and Ryder. Then we ain't going to take Ryder. Ab Ab right right now, in the Ab city, right now, yeah. yeah. Right now, yeah, that's who I like. Okay. And myself. And if you can't respect that, then your perspective is whack. You hear me? Yeah, I got merch <laughs> out, too, man. Guy. Yeah, yeah we got the Reek Raw merch out, man. We got, got the, the shirts, Reek man. Merch, man. What you want to do, man? man? Hit me on the gram, man. Hit Check me on the gram. Reek Raw 215, man. Right there, right? Got the Reek Raw shirts, man. For the Rolls Royce, that's my symbol, man. Okay. That's the car I'm going to get. We're going to be rolling around on the sneaky podcast oh, sure, in the Rolls man. Royce, <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I mean, holla at my boy Reek Raw, man. You Support feel me? My Shout boy. out to my nigga. Hey, Reek, tell him, tell him some of the accomplishments that you accomplished. On the music tip, man. Oh, like, man. I just came back. I was just in Virginia. I was just working with my man, Baby C. Shout out to Baby C from North Carolina. He just did a song with Finesse two times. Uh -huh. uh, we got some work coming. I was just in Las Vegas. I did a feature with my man, Silky Slim, a uh -huh. pimp. Shout out to the P's. My pimp players, uh, pimping ain't easy. My pimping ain't easy, and that's for real. It's serious. Um, shout out the young Jeezy. Um, I I just pimping did a, ain't easy. I was just in Miami. I did a song with my man Philippe you, Luciano. I mean, I, I mean, I'm. Keep going, I just did a podcast in Atlanta, Fat Nasty Podcast. Shout out the Fat Nasty Podcast, mm -hmm. man. Shout out the Fat Nasty. Um, I just shot a video called Gucci. It's on YouTube right now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I got 1,500 subscribers. We try and get it up more. Mm -hmm. You know, my Instagram has like damn near 70,000 followers right now. 
Reek Raw 215. Oh, man. man, I'm just moving around. I just shot another video with the microphone check joint. Right, right, the other right. day, right. I did that joint, man. I'm just grinding, bro. I'm, hey, so I listen. stay on the move, and I ride Dolo with this shit. My thing is, is this, right? Didn't you go viral a couple times? I went viral. I, man, I went viral four times on Instagram. Organically, right? Organically. I ain't paid for a follow. I never paid for a view. I never paid for even a feature. I never paid for, but I went viral. The first time I went viral was with me and my man Gunjan. Shout out to my man Gunjan. He about to be at the uh, Gilly fight, John. Knockout party. Yeah. On the eighth. Hey, you know what I'm saying? On the eighth. Shout out to Gilly. Them niggas, Gunjan. Yeah, we did a John in New York for the little boy Junior that died. When they, them little, um, the Puerto Rican gang stabbed him up in the poppy store, and the poppy wouldn't let him go back to the store. So we uh we did a moral for his family. We sung out there. That went viral. All over the world. Then I went viral with talking about smokers. The uh, the let me serve you, John. That was on World Star. I was on World Star, but yeah. since I didn't have the copyrights to the beat, they clipped me. Oh, you feel wow. me? You feel me? Then I went viral on Lovers and Friends twice. Not Lovers and Friends. Yeah, Lovers and Friends. That that John talking about the snitches. I went viral on that John in 2020. I was about to get signed, but the fucking Corona hit. Remember when Corona first hit in 2020? Mm -hmm. I went viral right before Corona hit. Then I went viral again. I went viral, man. I, didn't, man. I got millions of views. If you check my Instagram out, Reek Raw Two One Five, I got. I probably got more views than rappers and shit like that. Who was some That's of the sad. people? Who was some of the people that uh, post you up? Didn't you have some major motherfuckers post you? Um, Chris Brown, Shaquille O'Neal. Man, Shaquille O'Neal talk in the DM all the time about shit. Um. I didn't have Usher, Snoop Dogg. I didn't oh, have. Oh, reposting. No, that's um, I didn't have Tank, SWV, Coco. I didn't have like major, like major people. There's so many motherfuckers that were posting me. Mm -hmm. I had niggas from B2K posting me. Um, that shit, the list goes on, man. You just gotta check my Instagram out. That shit be oh, going dumb. I got like 3.2 million views on the post. I don't even know rappers that hit 3.2 million. You got to be, like, major to hit them numbers when it comes to them views like that, especially from a nigga that's independent just singing outside and shit in the trap. No, I mean? no, no doubt. But dig this right here, Reek. We know all about Reek. That's just some things y'all need to know about Reek. But dig this, though. We Right now, we, we sitting up here with two legends right here. So if y'all don't really have three legends right here, I meant to say. Because, you know, Rick just gave y'all just a preview of who he is and what he got going on and some things that, you know what I mean, if you didn't know, now you know type of thing. But now we got to hear what Zah Moolah's Zah. We got to hear her story, you know, how she got started and what she got going on and all that. Let's let's get into you, Zah. So y'all want it from the beginning? So, However you want right, to give so it to I, You know, I got my own podcast, Uncut and Roll Podcast. Um, so I started there, then... One of my homies came on my podcast. He like, Zah, start rapping. I'm like, nigga, I don't rap. I don't know how to rap. So he like, um, just jump on his track. I jumped on the track. Ever since I jumped on, I ain't stopped. Mm -hmm. I just did mad shows. Um, people book me. So it's just, it's been, it's been a roller coaster. You get paid to get booked right now, right? I do. Yep. And it's been like a what a year and a half. It's been. I've been it's doing it for. I've been doing it a year and a half. Then I um I just started doing movies. So I'm in wow, three you movies. movies? You're in Shout three out movies. to her. I'm actually in five. Five different movies? But I got, I'm a, let me say, I'm in five. Two of them, I'm just, I don't have no, I don't have no part. So the other three, I have main roles. Um, and you getting paid for some of these movies. What's the right? name of the movies? Is that? So one of the movies is Witness to Crime. So mm -hmm. we just had the premiere for that. That's going to drop soon. On what? Let them um, know. Probably. I don't know yet. I'm not sure where it's dropping at. So the next movie is Y'all Drawing. You know, shout out to Boom and Rich. Oh, shout out to Boom and um, Rich, man. Yeah, baby. So that's, that drawing going to be too. dope. And One Foot In, One Foot Out. Hopefully the premiere for that is next year sometime. So yeah, those three movies and more to come. No, that's what's up, man. Okay, shout out to Zamula. Now it's Flock turn. Now Flock, <laughs> you gotta tell the people, man, cause you, the niggas don't even know, man. You the one that really got. I ain't even gonna tell you a story, man. Shout out to Flock OBH, man. Flock, tell us a <laughs> little bit of something about yourself, my guy. I'm just an old dinosaur, man. You hear me? <laughs> oh boy, don't do that, Flock. Old dinosaur. Say no, but dig this, man. You know, um. 
What you want to know exactly, Rick? Man, how you started with the music shit? Where you came from? Like with this shit? You like know how I started? Shit, man. Who man, you work boy, with and man, shit like boy, that, Flop? Man, this boy named Chuck. I mean, my man Aaron, we started as like 12, 13 years old back when Snoop first started. When Snoop Dogg first came out, he was in the Snoop crazy. So at that time, um, you know, being as though me and him was real tight, he got me into the music. So then I started rapping. I was rapping. I'm like 13 at the time, 12, 13 years old. And then I'm rapping. I'm running around. I ran and I met Corrupt and them. I met Corrupt through... Uh, my a friend of mine named Joey, his mom, she used to work with corrupt cousin Jameer. So, man, Jameer became cool, and uh, Jameer was a uh, corrupt cousin. So, that's how I met corrupt. Mm. I went to corrupt mom house and all that shit. Corrupt had this big ass pit bull, white pit bull, like this mm. fucking big. She was big as shit. Man. How you started with OBH? Um, well, OBH, you know, we all grew up together, like in the same neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So it was way, it was even before. At that time, we already had OBH going on, but it was just some neighborhood shit. Mm -hmm. Just a group of guys that was in the hood that had a name. Like, this is our name. Mm -hmm. Just like anybody from any other hood that have a certain name. We was just kids with a, with, with a name called OBH, Original Block Hustlers. And then the music formed, and then it just became a brand. Ab just, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Took off and ran with it. Who the know? people you did music with it? Um, I did some music with uh Y Clef. Shout out to Y. Clef. Shout out to Y Clef, man. And man, I got into a battle, you know, out there. I was I was with uh Cassidy, and we come into well, we the gonna studio. get on to that next. You know what I'm saying, and we come into the studio, and uh, you know, um, it was a battle going on. Man, man, some boy. Shout out to Hollywood. He from Philly. Clef had signed him, so when he as soon as I come in the room. All the attention just go on cast, and I'm with him, so it's like, damn, it's like I'm pushed up. I was forced to battle. So Clef, like, you know, whoever win this battle can get on this record. I ended up pulling it off, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I won. So Clef got me, you know, Clef put me on the record, and I killed that John, man. Like, you know what I mean? Called Life in New York. What's Clef it? on the hook. He, Clef, Cass, uh, Trini, some artists Clef had. And uh, some other artist that was signed named Shells. He was signed to uh, J Records at the time. Okay. What's your affiliation with Cassidy? Mm, Cass, you know, Cass like a brother of mine. Cass a brother from another mother, man. You know what I'm saying? That's my fucking boy, man. That's going to always be my guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, we grew up together. You know what I mean? Kids, knee high to a grasshopper. You know what I mean? I've been on Cass since like seven, eight years old. You know what I mean? Back from there, seven, eight years old to you know that's my that was my uncle, best friend, sister, guy, son. Mm. So you know um, that's how me and cats, you know, that's how deep that shit goes. Yeah, I, I heard that you uh you the one to introduce Ab to Cassidy. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> I mean, definitely did. How that come about? Because you know Ab, that was my guy. Ab, one of my best friends. So with that being said, Cass was one of my best friends. So with that being said, it's like um. You know, me and AR from the same neighborhood. So when I started rapping, you know, of course, at the while, my niggas, my little, you know, my hitters from around me, they start rapping. And these niggas getting hot. So it's like, damn, I'm like, shit. I'm like, man, I got some hitters in the hood. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I got some motherfucking, like, for real, boy. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, at that time, Cass had Larson. He was just focused on Ox, Shiz, Lucky. He was just focused on them and me. Mm. Like that's just all he was focused on. Like I was like we was our guys. And I'm like, yo, look, man, I got my guys from my hood. You know what I mean? OBH, AR having them. It's like Cass, yeah, like, ah man, yeah, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't listening to that shit for a minute. And then he finally gave it an air and it was over from there. <laughs> oh yeah, man. We gonna get back to scheduling programming, man. What y'all think <laughs> about uh Larsa Pippen and um Michael Jordan Sunday? <laughs> mm, I didn't know they was dating. Michael Mike Jordan, this, son, dating. Mike sick this son on him. Scotty <laughs> White said, "Go at it." Go, no, Mike don't fuck <laughs> Mike with that. Said, Mike mad about yeah, that. Yeah, Mike sneaky playing mad about it. Hey, sneaky, man, man. To play. <laughs> yeah, that his yeah. kids is his guy. I'm Mike supposed mm. to play. I guess man. the kids said, "Look, we not." They related. said she used to watch him when he was a kid. Mm. Mike's son, Sam, and now like, she dating him. So how many he years ripping. she got on him? 
She yeah, was grooming him. She was on a Mary <laughs> so shit. So that's going to come out 20 years. Yeah, she was on the Mary shit. <laughs> she was grooming my youngin, man. Just See, wait now 20 they, years they, they, they try out. and get married. The they, groomers. She going from Pippin she to Joy. She's his bloomers, mm. the groomers. Damn. <laughs> she the goat for real. If you can go from Pippin to Joy. So how many man, years she son. got on him? How many years she got She probably got like, uh, like 14. <laughs> no, but you know Sky, she like, was a little uh, younger than Sky. Yeah, she got like... He probably got. She probably got like fourteen years. He grown now. Yeah, he waxing. That nigga that. jumping off the dress. That nigga like six three. She already he knew how he was going to be when she uh, was with him when he was a kid. She, no, but that's crazy to date somebody that you used to babysit. Yeah, you dating a nigga you used to babysit. I don't know if I can do that's that. That's not allowed. Uh huh. You probably like, was I watching him. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She was watching I'm him growing up. I'm gonna fuck him. Why? Uh huh. Yeah, that's I'm gonna fuck right. him. I'm gonna fuck him. Right. She didn't think she was gonna marry him. She knew she was gonna fuck him. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's crazy. yeah uh-huh. she was watching him. Yeah, she, and she knew Mike him. and Pippin was beefing for years. She went and fucked Jordan's son. son. That's a vicious that's woman, a vicious right? Vicious bitch, right there. That's why they say when more women now, gonna be, he gonna be like she raped me when I was like fifteen. More women gonna be in hell than women. <laughs> I mean, men, trust me. <laughs> Damn, that shit man. crazy, like, man. 15, I hit that. Like, oh, yeah, he was hitting that since he was a kid. Mm-hmm. Oh, he already knew what that, that shit was like. She gave him one shot or let him smelt it. Mm, Turned his ass rap. out as a uh-huh. fuck. She got that young Real you shit, me? man. <laughs> well, shout out to Marcus Joe and pulling that off, man. Fucking yeah. your dad, teammate, mm-hmm. wife. Mm-hmm. You a vicious That's nigga, crazy. my nigga. You feel me? It's like that. Damn, dad. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like a fucking Scotty wife. Oh, yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. At first, I knew he thought that shit was funny, but now he's he, he like, are you fucking him? But now you trying to marry the bitch. Come on. Scotty yeah, wife, love. dog. They ain't love, God, love. Man. Marcus. <laughs> Come on, Marcus. <laughs> you, you tripping. You supposed she to take that be, and you keep she it pushing. some of that Jordan legacy, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she do. She want to be a Jordan instead of a Pippin. She always knew she was in second place with that Pippin name. <laughs> no, for real. She wanted the mics. Now she wearing Jordans every day fucking with Marcus. Mm-hmm. Marcus oh, going man. to vault and grabbing some Jordans. Yeah. <laughs> you real shit. She got the unlimited <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Like, Fuck wrong with him. That's why. I'm, get the joint, she dead. But that's what I'm saying, man. He's tender she dick niggas, man. Tender, dick tender dick. man. You you got you got you come from too much money. You can fuck any woman in the world from she any country, and you gonna go get your dad, <laughs> fucking player, like his fucking basketball player, that's wife, his brother, damn dad. Out there, bro. At you him. really she came at him first. Scotty Pippen really is step, not his god dad for real. If he ain't Marcus, he one of the motherfuckers mm. god dad. He, you and your, your, him and your dad been playing on the same team for years. You think he ain't say yo, you the god dad and my right, son? Right. You feel me? We the one championships together. They not related. He That's fucking this nigga wife, Larsa, sneaky ass, <laughs> freaky ass. But it's gonna come bite in the ass though. But you know who I love, Black China. Black China. Not love. I I gotta explain why. So Angela the Kardashian, the, the Kardashian slept with her boyfriend, right? Yeah, yeah. But Black China was Tiger. so dope. She said, "I'm not gonna get you back by sleeping with one of your niggas. I'm gonna sleep with I'm your brother sleep with and your the brother family. And I, right." That's why they hate was, that bitch. Right. That's why they... they she was smart as shit. She said, I'm not fucking they, they That's why they despise her ass. I'm going to marry your brother, have a baby. That's why that's they crazy. made sure she ain't make no more money in the industry. <laughs> <laughs> she went gospel. She said, fuck it. I got to find Jesus. I can't get no more money. <laughs> no, Lord, real. help me. I don't want to be out was, here back tricking again. Shit, you know what I'm saying? But that's... Listen, man. Trust me. But you Watch can't do that to these evil motherfuckers, though. Questions. I want to know. Mm-hmm. I was just talking to some. We was having a conversation, right? Is it true about I I'm, guys? I think I'm high off your weed, but go ahead. Is it true about <laughs> guys with big feet? Do that mean something? No, I don't think that. Means anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the size of your shoe. God, shit like that. <laughs> this nigga, come on, come on. We gonna have to <laughs> blurt this <laughs> nigga <laughs> out or that one. I was just having a debate with somebody. It was like, oh, your feet small, so that means that you ain't really. I'm like, <clears throat> no, that's not true. Seen you. Which she is not, yeah, she yeah, said that's it, not true. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah, that you, go ahead, you can wear a size 13 <laughs> and your shit. Little as shit, so it don't fucking matter. All right, man. <laughs> All right Bigfoot. Uh, <laughs> these things, they run around with big feet that you can't go, you hear me? 
The little dog. Oh, real rare. They came at my motherfucking top, man. I was like, they Who came at smart. you, Fly? That's a friend of mine, man. A friend of yours? Yeah, man. She was trying to say something. Oh, fuck. Man, I was reminiscing with my feet. old head, man. I was reminiscing with <laughs> my old head, and I asked him, you know, when when he was broke, he said he was... I, I, I was talking to my old head, right? And he told me, man, he said when he was broke, he was eating mayonnaise sandwiches, man. Mm, <laughs> Back in the day, <laughs> sir, <laughs> sugars of <laughs> syrup <laughs> sandwiches. He or, said, um, he said, he, was eating, he, said he was eating lamp, mayonnaise sandwiches and... He was lactose intolerant, man. That's how much he was grinding. Dude. Wow. <laughs> Come on, nigga. That's a ball barrier. He eating fucking mayonnaise sandwiches, man. Uh, hey, man. And he lactose intolerant. And he ain't go steal at the store. <laughs> no. He ain't order no lunch meat from the shop, right? And we'll get to the door and run out. Sure. That nigga crazy. That is hard. He talking about, hey, run out. Yo, you already sweat. Yo, this nigga funny as shit, dog. Uh, he said he was grinding so hard, he was on this joint so crazy that he even ate mayonnaise sandwiches and was happy with about it, and he was lactose intolerant, man. man. It's a true story. Man, he got problems, man. You could have just <laughs> ate the bread without nothing on it. Fuck wrong with him. He needed some flavor. Niggas he do said, this shit I need all flavor. The time. Put salt and pepper on the motherfucker. <laughs> Put it in the oven. I put a little butter. Mayo make, too. A, make a garlic bread. I probably would have did mayo. He could have made garlic uh, bread. Make that <laughs> shit look good too. They decorate this shit. They got the food. Like, so yeah, I want to ask y'all a question. So when y'all in a relationship and y'all break up, do y'all take the stuff y'all done brought? For y'all her? Y'all take y'all shit? From her, for, did yeah. I brought for her? No. Uh, Fuck no. Uh, you can have this shit, bitch. Only no, thing, no, 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 no. Only thing I'm taking, shit, like, uh, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. <laughs> only thing I'm taking, if we was like engaged to something, I'm taking my ring back. Oh, okay. That's it. You oh, can have everything else. Back. You buy me a ring, you're not getting your you ring back. That so. You giving that up? You giving that up? I swear to wherever my because you gotta understand. <laughs> what you another man gonna get you a ring anyway? You don't need to. Yeah, I'm keeping that shit. But that's the only thing viable. Everything else you can have: the bags, shoes, the TV. Yeah, I mean, that's you the only... brought it for me. It's no, a I br- no, I brought it for us to be together right, forever. But, it's, it's but still since we ain't gonna be together forever, why you want to keep that? You can keep everything else. You don't want to get this one thing back because you want to take it. So I'm gonna keep it. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, yeah, just because you want yeah, to get, I, I believe women don't bed. give it back because they feel like they gonna never see one of these motherfuckers again. No, I don't. I'm a pi- I'm gonna sell that shit anyway. But well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's gonna be the last time you see one of these motherfuckers though. But what you're not about to do is give it to another bitch. So I'm gonna sell I, it. I, I, I was gonna point it. You. I was gonna point it. <laughs> I listen. I feel like if a nigga give a uh, give a chick a ring, and then you y'all break up, and then you give it to another bitch, you was a a lame nigga for that. Like, because that ring should have been special for somebody else. It wasn't right. special for everybody. It's special for this you one You lame person. for taking it back. No, I'm not. You can't be lame. Because so why are you so mad? Like, we broke because up. Because at the end of the day, the like, ring. no, because this is the only thing that's, I feel like, I like, vulnerable. Like, damn, I, I, I got on one knee. I well, bowed to this woman. You feel me? I can't get that back. Give me my give me my uh my dignity back. Let me get that <laughs> bow back. I just get yeah, let me get my power back you just mm-hmm. own from me. I just gave you my power when I got down on my knee. So what if you the reason for it? I don't give a fuck, still give it back. You know what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, let me learn my mistake and let somebody else oh, you ain't give you that something. Ring back. It's right. Over. Because you gotta understand at the end of the day, it's like that's sentimental. Mm. Might not be to you because I hurt you, but to me, I'm like, damn, I need that. She gonna be with another nigga. She moved on with her life. I ain't gonna ask for it right back. Like, huh, or after we break, or you my shit. No, if you, you, you getting with another nigga, like, you, you, all right, come on, let me get that. I don't even got that shit no more. But nah, uh-uh. I don't have that shit. I've been uh-uh. so uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Somebody paying for that. Uh-uh. All right, then I'm gonna come get the shit I bought out the house now. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Motherfuckers definitely be asking for that shit. Man, listen, back. I want the groceries out the refrigerator. Well, all right, so let me ask you a question. So, all right, don't got no kids why when women break groceries. up with niggas, they tear their shit up? You hear me? I need my groceries. I mean, some women do. I'm not tearing your shit up because I don't want you to touch my shit. So, I don't I do not do that. I don't touch people's shit because I don't want you touching mine. Shit, I might siphon the gas out your car. But Fuck girls that. do be tearing. Yeah, nigga shit, they be ripping sneeze, nigga shit, shit up. Bleaching clothes. Like, yeah, yeah they definitely gross. do. Throwing shit out the window. That's but electronic. But guys that's do female. that too. That's a female. Guys yeah. be flatting. They flat your tire. Mm-hmm. They do. I don't know no what? guys that did that. But if they did, damn, you lost yeah. your honor. <laughs> I'm gonna go get King Ernie to snatch your honor. Snatch your honor. Guys real tear rap. your shit up. They do the same shit no, bitches do. Talk. He 
these guys I just the new girls. King no Erna fit. just be snatching niggas on on that motherfucking Instagram. That's my guy. Look, my thing is, don't do nothing you don't want me to do. When I'm out, don't fucking blow my phone up. So, uh, so <laughs> all right, can I ask you another question? What's that? Why, when women with a nigga like they nigga, right? They act like they so holy, they, they churchy, but then when they break up, they the hoes. They go out there, they they have threesome, they doing mm. shit with girls now, they they gay now, they bisexual. Wanted. But why you why they wasn't with the nigga like that? Maybe because he he was he wanted her to be something that she wasn't. He maybe didn't she could right. Eye, but... Maybe she couldn't be herself with him. You yeah. ever been with somebody and you felt like you can't be yourself? Cause no. Yeah, you, got you, you never been with somebody it's like that. Like, like you, you can't be yourself. Tight. Right, like, so it's like she up Yeah, but if like, a nigga like, wants you to shake your ass and you scared <laughs> to shake no, your ass see, around y'all can me, go out together and you bitching because I'm just dancing. A no, but bit, what so if a nigga like, ain't bitching? Nigga wants you to be like, don't be shy, be that. So person. then that's just as her hot and who she is. That's that's crazy though. That's what I'm saying. Like, nigga might be like trying to cuff her and make it be like she like I want to dance and enjoy myself, but now she got to sit down. And just, she yeah, that's enjoy. them uptight insecure niggas. Like, that's right. them insecure like, niggas. We ain't talk about that. Myself. I'm no, talking about a nigga that let you be yourself, but you be all scared for bitches to be all up on him. But then you get a nigga, you out, you stop dating him, and then you out mm. in the streets, and then you just you oh come on girl, let's get him. But you couldn't be like that with your nigga, and he wanted uh-huh. you to be like that. That can go different. That's it. Could be that she doing it because she hurt. It could be that hurt she, make you fuck niggas. I don't know, but I'm just saying I, I can't speak on nobody else. But I'm, I'm just saying I, it probably can though. Hurt make I'm you hurt. fuck niggas. It probably can. Hurt. Now they, uh, now these are dick. Uh, <laughs> no, it probably can though. Like, but it's crazy it, just, though, because a woman go out there, the a woman will be hurt by a nigga that used to. But a woman be hurt by a nigga that's fucking the shit out of right. <laughs> go out there and fuck a nigga that couldn't give a half the dick she got. That's why it ain't worth doing. Give her half the dick she was just yeah, you getting. Right, go out there. You, you know what I'm saying? You want that old thing back. Is she want that old, old thing baby, back? Give me one more chance. <laughs> That's what I was saying. That's the, see, I feel like niggas, listen, like, I don't think niggas do that. Like, because niggas already just hitting shit. So, of course, they probably don't do it. Yeah, like women are the, I leave a nigga, they feel like See, fuck them the best more, they ever I had. Feel like to go females get the are, worst of shit they ever had. They like, and just settle for it. Yeah, women, a woman to yeah, settle, for, settle for like her. damn, she settle for some mediocre dick. <laughs> mediocre. <laughs> when I was just Maybe giving, he treating her better. When I, I was know. just long <laughs> digging her. You <laughs> feel me? Now uh, she want to leave. Yeah, you know yeah, after all these years, no, really. and then them relationships only last for like two years. Mm. I'm doing them with them two then year you, minimum. Try to go get your old thing back, and it's gone. And now you got a baby. You bringing yeah. this nigga, this little tender dick nigga baby back home. Talk about. <laughs> I want to go back. Yeah, I want to go back. Bitch, you don't get, get the, the fuck, fuck out of here. here. You <laughs> in that little dick, baby. I'm cracking up. So what, So how do men feel when they get cheated on? I'm talking about a faithful Murder. man get cheated Murder. on. Murder. I'm talking about how do it change Murder. you as a person? Yes. Heartless. I want. I want to. I want to fuck every bitch in the world. Not. And not every you, bitch that like no bitches that. I just want to. I want to have thirty kids. And then you feel like every girl is the same. Yeah. I, you, so once you. Is. Once a nigga get hurt like that, you can. You. you they. You know how Jay say once a good girl going bad, she's going forever. Mm-hmm. Imagine a nigga going bad. Mm. That's why as niggas with like eleven kids out here with like eight different bitches, <laughs> bitch hurt them. They just. But it's like get over it. Everybody. Ain't no get over that. That's <laughs> like, that shit. Like you got look, shot. You can't, you can't start dating me and just be like. A but nigga you said, think I'm a cheat on you. And that shit, nigga shit said that shit like, like being, shit. that shit like getting shot in the heart and you was damn near to mm. death. Like you was almost there. You seen the light and everything. Oh, you gotta let that shit go. Ain't no letting Females it go. Females do it all the time. See y'all stronger. Y'all can have yeah, babies. Y'all push babies out y'all pussy. But men, y'all, we couldn't y'all do that. have to let it go. There's, there's no a lot letting of hurt it go. Men out here. Because you know why? A lot of what them about hurt. them bitter ass baby moms? Uh, he oh, wanted to get on the bitter baby moms. I can't do with the bitter baby moms. Listen, listen like that's like, what's up with them? Man? I don't it's, know. It's listen. They, bitter they baby don't want mom. You to be happy. Baby moms, they try to use the kid Let me tell you. On, man. But Let me it's tell up you what to it the is. Guys to allow Let me tell you what it is. I look at some baby moms that hold the kid for ransom for money, man. Yeah. This is how I look at it, right? If you I look at this is my perspective. A lot of women be bitter with niggas, right? They have they have kids with because they felt like they met their nigga at a low point in their life and once they oh. got there. 
Then they trying to shit on him. But I feel like this. My thought is void. It was like this. I met you at a time when I was going up. You, uh, if I was at my lower, you was in your prime when I met you. You feel me? I I was just grinding. I wasn't even in my prime yet because I was growing. You feel me? So sometimes when you meet people, you don't meet them in 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 at a time in your life where though you like always develop where you know what I'm saying so when you meet that person you might not meet you might have a baby with a person that wasn't meant for you right because but she thinking it's your fault but you was in your prime i wasn't there you could have had anybody you wanted in the time of my life where i had a kid with you i probably couldn't so i probably was the best you can do so at the end of the day when you people outgrow people when you in your low state I feel like men, they be having kids at they low state. So when you find yourself mm-hmm. and you start to realize, you realize, damn, this ain't the person for me. Right. So now they leaving the woman mad because I was in my prime when I got you, right. nigga. When I gave you these fucking kids, nigga. Mm-hmm. So now you getting in your prime and you don't want me. Right. You feel me? So that's why I feel yeah. like that's where a lot of yeah, the that could be it too. anger and the jealousy come from. And they just, I just feel like a baby mom, a baby dad, they swear they entitled. You're not it's, entitled to shit. Yes. You're just my baby father. You're just my baby mom. I yeah. don't I don't owe you no loyalty. I don't, I don't owe life. you shit. <laughs> right. I don't owe you shit but to yeah. take care of the baby. But it's crazy though, because them you know, these they hold girls, them. I feel like the girls really be thinking they yeah. entitled. Like Yeah, they hold yeah. I feel like there's abandonment ships. And they it's not it's it, a lot of that come from not having a father that that let them understand things in life that mm. you you can't keep a child away from a man. Because a lot right. of the time, these kids growing up that's going out here doing all this shooting only been raised by a woman. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They mother kept them away from their father, so they didn't have no dominance and no scare. Once a kid gets to, like, 15, 16, he's scared his fucking mom no more. Now the kid's, like, 13, 12 ain't scared anymore. You feel me? And, yeah, and they blocking the man. Yeah. And then it's like they want the man. Once they can't control the boy no more, mm-hmm. they want now they want the man in their life. But I don't, we don't it's even got now. no fucking type of bond he right. ain't even gonna fuck with me for real he don't even oh. like me cause mm-hmm. you didn't told him so much shit about right. me how could he ever fuck with me no real you yeah, I don't know these baby moms they are chill if y'all not with the dude y'all not with him like let right. the let the father see they kids and if they got girlfriends y'all ain't entitled to shit what's up <laughs> what's up how y'all feel about these hey. fucking fake ass some of them I'm not gonna say all influencers that be on the gram Telling people life advices and they whole life. And they going up. through some shit. I mean, I get Sometimes it. Sometimes you can tell y'all people hustling. shit and and your shit all fucked up. But maybe that, y'all hustling, I don't know. That, the gab. I mean, I understand that, both of y'all. That both shit. fucking laying in a dirty ass house. Right, but talking right, shit. Just jumping everywhere somewhere. But that shit. shit. Maybe that's, that's what, how they want to be and just say. I don't know. They not strong enough to do whatever they talking about. But that they shit be fucking me up, man. I be like on there and I be watching niggas be giving women advice and talking about how niggas oh, ain't yeah. shit and this and that. And then women be putting them niggas out there. They mm. do this and they beat up women and they did all the shit they was bashing niggas about. Man, I was I was riding down the street that with that pulled up at AutoZone, man. <laughs> I. I seen a nigga, I was riding down the street the other day, no bullshit, right? Not to cut you off, but shit just came to me. I was thinking, man, I was riding, I seen this old, I pulled up the AutoZone, old head, got a Benz truck at AutoZone getting worked on, man. (laughs) No. Old head, I I don't even know him, I just pulled up there. This nigga at AutoZone, you got a Benz, you got a foreign. Why are you at what year was it though? Right. Huh? Right. You said four. And what do that mean? That doesn't mean anything. Auto zone. If your credit good, you Should can this, go this get. This like a sixteen, a seventeen. But you, he might got a good insurance. Auto zone right. hires a motherfucker. Yeah. You ever try to pull a car up? He, and oh, you a pull right done. back out. Oh, he get work in done the in the parking lot. Oh, and about the Africans. Oh, yeah, yeah, he out of pocket. No, not that. African is working on his yeah, joint. Yeah. You can't have it. I ain't gonna lie. I just I ain't gonna lie. Some, if he got a shop, some God, Africans man. is good on that. He that probably car. couldn't afford it. Take two, some of them Africans. Two smokers <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> nah, but you can't have no African outside fixing yeah, those bins. Right, right. He had two bases. Shit, he probably <laughs> fucked up. Look, like, no. look, I got this bins years ago. Look, my money fucked up. I can't, I can't afford it. 16, 17, but. sell that motherfucker, man. <laughs> rap, it costs. I mean, it costs for the motherfuckers, man. But you know, I'm going to tell y'all yeah. something, man. It's the motherfucking sneaky report, man. 
Your boy pretty flat. Your girl Zamula. Reek Raw. I mean, we here in the motherfucking building, man. It's going down, man. Tune into the Sneaky Report, man. Sneaky!